everyone thank you for joining us on another video in today's video it's that time of year again it's may 4th happy may the 4th be with you yes today is star wars day and it's time for our annual collection tour it's already been a year it's hard to believe but uh here we are with our updated collection tour for 2024 um so this is gonna be awesome well, we love doing these videos um just going to kind of pan around we've our setup is completely different this year except for black series the black series shelves are we re re rearranged them a little bit but uh the setup is completely different we have we have a rug in here now pretty cool looking and then uh our vintage collection setup is uh totally different so we're gonna go around the room and then uh show you everything star wars and Anything non-Star Wars we'll cover in a different collection tour video. That way it won't be so long. All right, Alex, so what do you want to start out with first? Let's start with the Black Series. Um, I guess up there, the very, very end over there with the Rogue One. Okay, all right, so let's take a look. This is our Rogue One Black Series collection. And most of these figures here are from the original, like, Black Series releases back during Phase 3. Except for these two, uh, Jin and Cassian here. These two are the Phase 4 re-releases with the updated, like, face sculpt, like, photo reel. And then, of course, we have the new figures that they've released from the line. Like, Galen Erso there, and, um, uh, what's his name? Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero, yeah. And then the back there, you can't really see. We need we need to elevate some of these figures in the back. But there's uh, General uh, Merrick back there in the back, which is a really cool figure. And also Bodhi Rooks back there. Then so yeah, I think I'm pretty sure we have every figure in the like Rogue One line that they've released, right? Yeah, yeah, we're not. We've got all the the exclusives. There were several exclusive in, exclusives in that line, and we've picked all of them up over the years. So now heading over, getting into the original trilogy stuff, we have Star Wars, or A New Hope, and this is uh, our, in the back you can see our early bird, uh, like legacy set that they released back for the 40th anniversary in 2017. With the complete collection, we actually did pick up every figure for that, so it's pretty cool. Then we got some of the other figures from A New Hope that they've released over the years. That Greedo there is the uh, newer re-release in the, um, it was like in the Power of the Force, uh, like, packaging. And then, um, yeah, some, just some, uh, you know, random figures that would fit in with A New Hope, like uh, Luke and Han in the Stormtrooper disguises. We got Tarkin back there, R5. Then we got our like ceremony display here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the Han Solo is the updated Han Solo with the with the uh, photo real paint apps. Yeah, Oops. that one came in the Power of the Force packaging as well, I think, didn't it? Yeah, now, we actually picked it up loose as a loose figure. And then we have one of my favorite pieces in the Black Series, and it's the Sand Trooper with the do back. And this is just so cool. Yeah, I do believe we did a video on this back when it came out, like, years ago. Yeah. There you can see his claws kind of gripping the shelf. Looks pretty cool. Here we have the regular Sand Trooper with the orange pauldron. And then, of course, the Sand Trooper that came with the do-back. Which looks really cool, and they look good together. And, yeah, that's really cool. Then you can kind of see... In the background there, our Empire Strikes Back display. And we kind of made this for the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back, back in 2020. We just, uh, we picked up another one of those uh, early bird legacy sets and kind of made it an Empire Strikes Back version. And uh, kind of put some of the Empire Strikes Back figures up there, along with the bounty hunters here in the front, which looks pretty cool. Yeah. And I printed some artwork to go in the back, but we need to have it like resized and have it actually fit the display. Uh, I think it would make it look better, but I haven't had a chance to work on that any. 
There we have uh, Leia, Bespin Han, and Bespin Lando. Uh, Bespin Luke with uh, Darth Vader at the confrontation. And then Han and Carbonite with uh, Captain Piet and Chewie with the uh, C-3PO. I think that's a new addition to our collection this past year. And then up front we have all the bounty hunters. Dengar IG-88, Boba Fett, Bosk, Zuckus, and Forlom. Then right here is our little Dagobah display. Uh, the base is from that, um, it was like in Phase 3 when Last Jedi came out and they made like this like um, display Luke Skywalker thing from Oct 2 uh, where he had, I remember his hand was like metal and uh, we just took the display base from that and thought it would make a perfect like Dagobah and we got like the Jedi text there and that R2-D2 there is actually the Bandai model kit so it's not Black Series but it works perfectly it's like the perfect scale kind of like the brand new Phase 4 R2 that they just released not too long ago then we transition over to Hoth and first is the Imperials we have General Veers there with his uh, armor on which is one of my favorite figures looks really cool and we have the Snowtrooper and AT-AT driver. And then in the back we have the Imperial Probe Droid, which is another awesome piece of the bike series. And then we go over to the Rebels and we have Luke, Han, and their uh, Hoth outfit, and the uh, Rebels soldier in the back. And then even further in the back is Luke with his uh, Snowspeeder outfit on. And then we have C-3PO. That's This is a Bandai model kit C-3PO with a back metal finish, which looks awesome. And then we have Hoth Princess Leia, which is one of the better Princess Leia figures. And then in the background of that, we have the old uh, Black Series centerpiece with Luke Skywalker, kind of a statue, uh, jumping over an at, at foot that's on fire or exploding with the lighting effects. It looks really cool. It's a nice piece for your Black Series collection. Kind of wish they would bring those centerpieces back, you know, do some every once in a while. Yeah, especially if they had the new characters like Mando and like, um, not anything sequel trilogy though. They did do like a Kylo Ren one, but we didn't ever pick that one up. Okay, dropping down uh, to the next shelf, we start off with Rebels. And here you can see, um, we have the classic Rebels crew from the animated series, but also a few new ones in there. Uh, specifically, Ezra from the Ahsoka show, which is technically season four Ezra. I know that, that figure is like so, so anticipated for me. And we did do a review on it, so make sure to go check that one out after you watch this video. Yeah, it's one of your favorite figures, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I think it was my runner-up for figure of the year last year so yeah rebels is such so un underrated that it's it's such a good show yeah and moving forward we have our jedi fallen order figures there's that deluxe cal kestis and then in the background you can see the original release of cal kestis and a few of the other figures like Back there you can see the uh, second sister, or um, Trilla, I think her name was in the game. We actually haven't played Jedi Survivor yet, so. But yeah, moving on, we get into the Return of the Jedi, and the whole rest of the shelf is Return of the Jedi themed. Yeah, first up we have the Gamorrean Guard, uh, Jabba's Palace type figures, there's Bib Fortuna, Lando in the skiff guard disguise and then uh, Jedi Luke which is a really cool figure and of course the Boba Fett Return of the Jedi Boba Fett which is an awesome figure and we have him displayed in flight there 
rising above the other figures. And it looks really good, I think. And then we have the new Chewie that came out last year. You know, of course, last year was the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. And we paired that figure up with the uh, Princess Leia Boosh disguise. Which they look awesome together. Because Chewie has that chain and collar on. Then we transition over to the Emperor's Throne Room. Where Darth Vader and Luke are... Um, in their confrontation and then in the background we have the emperor in his throne with the two royal guards at his side and then uh, this uh, next display right here is new for this year or actually we added it last year we picked up an extra emperor at Ollie's for cheap I think they're like ten dollars over there if you're looking for an emperor so we picked up one to uh, go with the Walgreens exclusive Vader, the, Rem the Emperor's Wrath Vader. And you can see their Emperor, I mean, Vader is lifting the Emperor up, getting ready to throw him over to the side. So that's a cool little display that we added. And then we added the uh, 40th anniversary logo to this part of our shelf. So pretty cool. That's the centerpiece of the the Return of the Jedi shelf. And then moving on, technically not part of uh, Return of the Jedi, we have Thrawn with uh, some stormtroopers. Yeah, we try to recreate this scene uh, where he kind of like first appears in Ahsoka. So obviously yeah. we don't have the like undead stormtroopers, but we worked with what we had. Yeah, so it's like uh, Thrawn with a legion of stormtroopers, which looks really cool. And then here we have some more. Uh, we're getting into the like indoor of uh, indoor section of the Emperor or um, Return of the Jedi, and we have like the scout troopers on the speeder bikes and stuff, and the uh, uh, the Rebel soldier indoor, pretty awesome figure. Yeah, I can't believe that they did not re-release this Black Series speeder bike last year such an awesome uh, vehicle for the Black Series. Um, if you ever run across one of these you don't have one, I'd highly recommend picking it up. It's a really cool piece. And another new figure from last year. This is the uh, Indoor Rebel Soldier or Trooper. Really cool figure. You have alternate face plates you can put on him. We went with the old face. Captain Rex. Could be Captain Rex, yeah. Then we have Indoor Luke, Indoor Leia, and Indoor Han. And then the figures in the back are Indoor Princess Leia, um, an Ewok, Admiral Akbar, C3PO, General Lando Calrissian, and Force Ghost um, Obi Wan. And I think, yeah, Yoda's in there too. There he is. And that wraps up the Return of the Jedi figures. We'll kind of step back and kind of scan through them again. All right, so uh, next shelf is we start off with Bad Batch. And this is uh, Bad Batch Season 1 figures, except for um, Omega or Omega is the Season 2 figure of Omega, which is I think looks a lot better. And... Yeah, we just didn't double dip on the Season 2 figures because they were like $27, $28 at Walmart. Yeah, and yeah. I think some of these Season 1 figures are kind of rare now, especially with Crosshair. Um, I think he's like the rarest and most expensive out of them all, and he might have even gone up in price since he used that Season 1 armor in Season 3, which just wrapped up like this week. So yeah, that was a pretty good pretty good show the entirety of it yeah shout out to dave filoni and everybody at lucasfilm animation uh awesome show we really enjoyed it but anyway moving on we have uh more prequel stuff here's a bunch of clones we got follow first in there and one of my favorite figures the clone commander obi-wan 
Um, even though it's a dated figure now, and it still looks good, still yeah. displays very well. The articulation is really not not very good, but who knows? Maybe they'll kind of uh, re-release it on the new clone body, even though I doubt that'll ever happen. And another one of my favorites is Captain Rex, the original release of Captain Rex. Awesome figure. Then we have like Anakin and Obi-Wan from Revenge of the Sith up there. They really need to do a new Anakin from Revenge of the Sith. And Padme and that sick Cad Bane. A few of the bad guys back there. Yeah, Darth Maul. That's an archive Darth Maul. Mace Windu's awesome figure. The head sculpt on that is just amazing. Now, TC-14 you're seeing back there is a uh, Disney Elite series. So it's fully die-cast metal. It's pretty heavy. But yeah, it's really cool. And then we have Count Dooku, another awesome Black Series figure. Now we transition over to Obi-Wan Kenobi. We didn't collect a lot of figures from this line, but we definitely had to get the Vader. Yes, this was figure of the year 2023 for both of us. Yeah, that just looks amazing. It's a they really did a, they did an awesome job on this figure. Yeah. But yeah, we've only picked up four figures from the line. That uh Purge Trooper is pretty cool as well. Yeah. And then uh, the rest of the shelf transitions over to Mandalorian. And I've set up a experiment here with the Mandalorian figures, more of a tiered look. As you can see, the back figures in the back are more raised, and it really, it really kind of enhances your collection display. So I'm going to eventually do this whole shelf this way. So, um, but for right now, it's just the Mando figures are in this format, and I really like it. As you can see here, you can see the figures in the front, and you can clearly see the figures in the back. And what I did was season one kind of like season two and then then the back is like season three and um and then the book of boba fett figures are kind of sprinkled in so uh yeah and we've really uh it's really amazing how many figures they've done in this line we've been building this line ever since the first mandalorian figure came out this guy right here back in 2019 and yeah we haven't collected all of them that's for sure but we've collected a whole lot of them in the in the phase four line oh and our cat has showed up Minnie she wanted to say hello yeah there's that new R2 I was talking about right there pretty awesome yeah we paired the new R2 up with Luke and then there's the Luke from season two can't really see his face because the, the hood is messed up right now Another more recent figure we picked up was the Mix Mayfield from Season 1, which is a really cool figure. Look at all the guns and stuff he has. That is really cool. Another one of my favorites is the Artillery Trooper. The Storm Trooper with that yellow on it just pops. I love the way that figure looks. And then moving to the back. Okay, so one of my favorite figures that we just picked up recently, or for 2024 so far, is the new Mando figure, the Glavis Ring World figure. It's awesome. He has a soft goods cape. We did a full video on him if you want to watch that at some point. And then uh, then we have some of the others. There's Book of Boba Fett and Cobb Vanth, another one of my favorite figures. An awesome Black Series figure. And that is our Mandalorian display. And the very top shelf is uh, vehicle, random vehicles, mostly Black Series figure, but we have the, the Ewing from Rogue One up here. And then on the wall, we have the old vintage um, Saga collection or trilogy collection figures on vintage style card backs. There's the backdrop. And there you can see the uh, Luke Skywalker land speeder. I want to get that incorporated into the Star Wars display, but I just don't have enough room. 
So I need to rework that. Then we have some Legends figures, some of the coolest Legends figures. The Jaina Solo figures. Really cool. And then we have some more Black Series vehicles like the that speeder thing that Ray drove and then the other speeder or jumper or whatever that thing was called from Solo. And that wraps up our Black Series collection. Take a step back here, try to get the, the full display in. You can see there. Then down below in these little cube things, we just have some random collectibles or things that we've uh, collected. There's some Star Wars glasses. We have our classic Star Wars games, uh, some videotapes and older DVDs and stuff of Star Wars. Alex has his Mando helmet in there with some uh, extra Mandalorian figures. And also Alex has his uh, Captain Rex helmet in one of the cubes. So each side of this uh, shelving, uh, shelving that we have, we have uh, uh, Detoffs with random stuff. We have uh, Director Krennic, Death Trooper, and Jen, Cass or Jen back in the back. All right, next up, we're going transitioning over to Vintage Collection, and first up is our Imperial Display. And our Imperial Display is all new this year. We've expanded it, made it bigger. Yeah, this is all new. Uh, we've gotten a bunch of these like shelf things, uh, or these cube things, and... Uh, we kind of made this uh, kind of wall of them, and on top of this one, we have our Imperial setup, and this is pretty cool. We have all the Stormtroopers and everything, and these are not all vintage collection figures. Most of them are, but a few of them might be 5 POA, because some of the 5 POA lines were really good, really detailed, like the Rogue One line, and uh, yeah. So yeah, most of them are vintage collection but some of them may not be yeah vintage collection uh it was a good year for imperials and vintage collection last year we got a new we got thrawn we got finally got director krennic um we got that imperial um officer set for the vintage collection the box set and also of course the new return of the jedi darth vader yeah that is sick so a uh, really, really good year for Vintage Collection uh, Imperial figures last year. Now all we need is a new th uh, Tarkin, and I think we'll be set. Yeah, why haven't they done Tarkin yet? He 
Here we have Luke's X-Wing, and we have the pilots kind of displayed in a little circle like they're doing a pilot's meeting before going out on a mission. Uh, so it's pretty cool. There's uh, Porkins in there. That's actually a power of a Jedi figure, an older figure. And of course Luke's in there with R2. And then our next display is the skiff from Return of the Jedi. And uh, we didn't even have this displayed last year. So we opened this uh, and included it in our displays because we got the, uh, the pack, the vintage collection pack with the uh, skiff guards. So this is a really cool piece. Then we have our vintage uh, Ewok Village. Even though it's missing some parts like the handrails and stuff, um, it's mostly there. This is from my childhood. Um, yeah, and we kind of recreated, well, like last year, we kind of recreated the um, like end of Return of the Jedi here. It's like the celebration of the Ewok Village. Yeah, we still need to get some vintage collection Ewoks. We, we only have, uh, like, Power of the Force Ewoks. Then we have Luke and Leia on the speeder bike down below. And that was the new, you know, the 40th anniversary release from last summer. Then we have an older speeder bike with a scout trooper on it in the back. Just think uh, Luke and Leia look a lot better on that. Looks really cool. And then over here we have like a little Hoth display with some Hoth figures with the snow speeder. Some droids mixed in there. Then we have a Hoth battle display. This one's really cool. And the snow trooper, this legacy collection snow trooper is new to our collection just a few months ago. That's really cool. Moving up, we have our Jabba's Palace play set here. With a bunch of figures in there, bounty hunters and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, pretty nice. And then moving over, we have our Navarro Cantina. And again, a bunch of just different figures and stuff around. I love these, I always love these like cantina sets because you can always just kind of display them however you want with like whatever figures you want. Then moving up on top is our highlight of our vintage collection uh, collection and with um, Boba Fett's ship and of course the Razor Crest, the HasLab Razor Crest in the background. So first up, we have the speeder bike from Mandalorian. There you can see uh, Grogu in the satchel. Slave One with Boba Fett. And then uh, here's some Mando figures to go with the Razor Crest, IG-11. Cara Dune is new to our collection. We had one on card, but we never opened it. And we found one recently, and we just added her to the collection today, or opened her. So we tried to collect uh, figures of characters that interacted with the Razor Crest. And gotten most of them now I think yeah we still need uh, you yeah, know we have a few that we haven't opened that we need to put up here yeah that like Mando is cool right there like the armor we have her on card but we haven't opened her yet and that Mando is cool right there stepping on a security droid with his head ripped off and the wires like uh, dangling out of his like head socket Down below we have our 3.75 like uh, prequel era stuff and it's not very that big 
uh, compared to like the original trilogy stuff that we have everywhere. But yeah, we we haven't really collected much of the like prequel trilogy stuff. You know, we do have like the main characters over here, like Anakin and Obi Wan, and then like uh, some of the main villains as well. With a Jedi starfighter in the back. So yeah, this Emperor is a new addition to our collection. It's a Episode One line, and we just thought it looked really cool. Then moving over, we have our Rebels display, and Rebels is very important to me and uh, to us because I don't know. We just I feel like I kind of grew up with this show. And, you know, I've said this a lot on the channel, so I don't really think I need to explain it. If you guys are fans of the channel, then you would know. But, uh, yeah. These are all figures that we picked up back when they originally came out. So, like, the original uh, Ezra and, like, Sabine, Kanan. We never actually got Hera. Because I think the only way to get her was, like, in a two-pack. that came with, like, a Stormtrooper or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I do believe that Captain Rex is pretty rare, though, by now. And we do have one up on card that uh, we might show later on the video. Then we have our kind of bad guys of Rebels over here with Seventh Sister in the background, Maul, or Old Master, I guess. Grand Inquisitor, Thrawn, and then Darth Vader. I've always loved this design for Darth Vader. Then moving over one more, we have our 3.75 Rogue One collection and uh, we just kind of thought that this uh, this amazing movie needed its own yeah, little yeah, we just kind of thought that this amazing movie needed its own little collection space for like 3.75 inch stuff so yeah we have the blu-ray in the background so that's pretty cool so this is most of our vintage collection stuff and the Imperial setup over there. Then hanging up, we have this B-Wing from the Power of the Force line. And then we have the HasLab figures on card from the Razor Crest, Grogu, and Off-World Jawa Elder. And this is our Star Wars movie collection and um, soundtracks on CDs. Um, we have uh, the complete saga on Blu-ray along with uh, the sequel trilogy, Rogue One and Solo. Then we have the original theatrical, theatrical releases of the original trilogy. DVDs there. Also Rebels Season 1 and 2 in Blu-ray. Need to get Season 3 and 4. And then the Clone Wars movie and Season 1 on DVD. And then up here we have some boxes on display that kind of makes like a false wall. For our collection area. We have the Razor Crest box and then a bunch of other vintage collection boxes. There's that Rex on card I was talking about just a second ago. So yeah, I do believe that figure is kind of expensive now, I think. It's been a while since I checked it. But yeah, we do just kind of have random, just random stuff up here as well. Like these Boba Fett's carded. Oh, and one last display that's a little bit separated from the rest of our displays, and that is the Tainted Four uh, playset, which is awesome. I love this set. Wish I had some more figures to go in here, especially the Rebel Troopers. We really don't have any. We have one, like Power of the Force one, which he's uh, acting like he's dead over there. But, um, yeah, we need to get a few of those to finish off this set. Then down below on the figures thing, we have um, our Star Wars book collection like random Star Wars books, uh, graphic novel books, um, yeah, Star Wars information books, story books, collecting books, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, always have to have uh, Star Wars books. All right, guys. So that wraps up our collection tour. We'll just kind of give you a little pan and scan across the area. And you might be thinking, seeing here, that there is stuff that we did not show, uh, like G.I. Joe stuff and our Marvel stuff and Transformers and stuff like that. But 
We will do a, a separate collection tour video showing the rest of this stuff in detail and talking about that as well. So stay tuned until then. Yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you made it all the way through this video, thank you for watching it all the way through. Um, I hope you have a good Star Wars day. Uh, go find some figures. Open some figures. Uh, go to episode one is playing today, so go to the movie theater and watch episode one if it's showing in your area. So, uh, once again, thank you for watching and happy Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. Alex, take us out. May the fourth be with you always.